Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen. Today we are diving into a super interesting coding problem, number 250, key largest element in an array. So it's a daily lead code challenge and also it's classic problem, very common on a coding interview. So make sure to stick around till the uh, end. Okay, so uh, here is the task at hand. We need to find the key largest element uh, in an unsorted array. So sounds simple, right? But there are multiple ways to solve this problem. And today we will focus on the most straightforward one, the sort and select approach. Uh, all right. So uh, if we are given, uh, for example, uh, this array, so uh, from three to, uh, yeah, three to, one, five, six, four, and key is two. So task is really uh, simple uh, because we need to uh, output the uh, key uh, largest element. So key largest element, so second largest in this case is uh, five. So it's second largest and the first largest is obviously uh, six. So we return five. Okay, so really simple task and implementation could be also really simple. So return sorted num reverse true key minus one. So this is implementation, one line of code. We are sorting and picking a key number. And because uh, RI is zero indexed, we are picking key minus one. So as you can see, for this array and key two, output is five, so all good. So uh, now let's break this down uh, step by step. So the core idea here is quite simple. Uh, all we are going to do is sorting the number in descending order and then just picking the key element. So it's super intuitive. And starting with the Python, built in a sorted function, we sort the list num in reverse order. Uh, that means the largest element will be at the front of our uh, list. And then uh, the magic happen uh, with uh, last uh, line or last part of one line code. So key minus one. And remember in programming, our indices start from zero. So to get the key largest element, we need uh, index key uh, minus one. So uh, basically the second largest number, for example, when a key is two, is on index one. So that's why key minus one. So, uh, so it's really uh, simple and uh, time-wise, uh, we are looking at n log n uh, time complexity, which is typical time complexity for sorting a list of uh, n elements and space. So space complexity is just uh, O1, uh, so constant space complexity. So uh, that's because we are merely sorting the original list without using any extra space. So, all right, uh, let's give uh, the test for unsynthesized cases as well. Uh, so hopefully it will work. So yeah, as you can see, it worked all good and our implementation uh, still beat 98% uh, of other runtimes, so 99.88 and 84% uh, with respect to memory. But uh, it's thanks to build in uh, sort in Python. Uh, so yes. Uh, that's the beauty of this approach, real uh, simplicity uh, combined with efficiency. Of course, uh, there are other methods to solve this. Uh, and if you are interested, uh, check out the description below where I have uh, provided code in multiple uh, languages, including uh, C++, Java, Rust, and Go, and much more. And also I will cover other uh, implementation uh, with Heap. So uh, if you found this video helpful, uh, make sure to hit the like button, uh, share it with your friends and subscribe for more uh, coding challenges and
tutorials. And as always, keep practicing happy coding and see